this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith is sitting alongside me. Our football today comes from the Portuguese league. It's Tondela against Porto. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to this. We've got some really good players out there, and importantly, we've got some match winners, some goal scorers down on that pitch. And I don't think we'll be disappointed. This game really is a chance for him to express himself. Well, sometimes you talk about not being able to coach a quality, and I think his finishing ability is one such thing because uh, he just does it naturally. And this is today's starting lineup for the home team. 4 3 3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Here is the team news for Porto. Chancel Mbemba starts with Pepe in central defence, and they've gone with two up front today. It should be a tremendous game, and uh, here we go. Good vision here. No real challenge to the defender from that cross. Musa Marega. Now Suarez. Into the attacking third. Suarez. Uribe. Well, his laces behind that one. Took his eye off the ball, but not a bad effort. Corona wants to chop back and play it to a teammate. Well, pretty close, wasn't he? Despite the defender distracting him. Yeah, it's a shot to nothing. He probably didn't expect a score from there. Here's João Pedro. Build up his patient. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Musa Marega with good vision. And he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. Well, space to get the cross in. Cross blocked here by Pepe. Oliveira. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. Oh, great chance! Just needed to settle on the ball before striking the shot. João Pedro. 
Here's João Pedro. Certainly playing well enough to get their noses in front here. Suarez. It's Musa Marega. Uribe. And that's given away possession. Looking for a through ball. That could have been difficult, but the defender sorted it out. Oliveira. Musa Marega. He's cut it back looking for a teammate. And this time, yes, they do score. Well, it's been coming. And they've been playing well enough to deserve this goal. Nicely created, well finished, and very well merited. Well, he's not had much room at all to work in there. And that's the sign of a top player. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Well, you could see what he was trying to do, but he couldn't execute it at all. Porto fans really getting behind the team, but it's a team that needs a bit of help from the supporters at the moment, but they have got the lead. We've got to, not long to go to half-time, and that might be an opportunity to Porto. Clever ball! He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. Otavia. He's got players helping him here, but he might go alone. Well, poor pass, good interception. Take your choice. The added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Two minutes of added time. Going forward well. Terrific tackle. Well, that's half time at 1 0. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, it was a good first 45 minutes from the lad. Got the ball rolling with that goal, and he's been central to most of the good things his team has done. Set up for the second half here, and Porto take the kickoff. It's Musa Marega, Oliveira, moving it nicely, cleverly done. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Ottavia. Corona. Going for goal! And there it is! Well, what a lovely through ball that was, Martin. Perfectly weighted and beautifully finished. Let's see the replay now. Starting at 2 0. They've got the ball back by that interception. Porto enjoying the lion's share of the ball so far, and I've been really impressed by the way they've gone about the business, taken the game to the opposition. They've dictated the tempo, they're totally in control. Can they see it through to the end? And now the 
shot. Alex Telles, he's blocked that well. Porto ready to use somebody from the bench. Trying to move people around in the middle by going to a short corner. Takes the shot off. The shot's hit the post. Great move, great goal. Flag up for offside. It's not going to count. Well, really good organisation from the defence, and it was offside looking at it. This is another angle on it, Alan. Well, it looked like the timing of the, the pass and the run was spot on, but the defence squeezed, and I think they just caught him off. Sergio Oliveira. Now Suarez. It's Musa Marega. Danilo Pereira. Very good stop here. Here's one maybe from the training ground, going short. Cuts it back well. Uribe. Now Suarez. It's Musa Marega. Is this the moment? Top performance from a top team, and they've emphasised their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. Well, that back line has been at sixes and sevens virtually from the first kick, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see them concede even more. It's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline, really, as we're underway again. And the pass not completed, really. Could be a cross here, it could be dangerous. Tries the shot, and they manage to score here. Good finish. Took a quick glance before placing the ball way beyond the goalkeeper's reach, low into the corner of the net. Oh, it's a great finish to take the keeper at the equation. I mean, the keeper had no chance there. Bottom corner. That does extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. Here we go again, and they can't wait to get the ball back from the kickoff and try and get another one. Nothing so far in this game to surprise us, perhaps only the, the margin that they lead by. Yeah, it's not always easy coming into a game and everyone's expecting you to get a hat full, but they've kept their focus this side and uh, taken the chances nicely when they've cropped up. He's going to make a change now. I have seen him try to go for goal from this distance, so don't rule it out. So now a goal kick to come. Excellent performance from the team. The supporters know that the 
job is pretty much done and they're just loving it. I don't think we'll get them out of the ground at the end. Well, they've been treated to some really good football, haven't they? Some good goals and uh, they're appreciative of that. Pepe. Counting down towards the end of the 90 minutes. Nine minutes left. Musa Marega. Abu Bakr. He tried his luck, but his luck was out. Well, the home team has been outplayed, and the home supporters have lost their will to support, I think. Oh, haven't they just? You could hear a pin drop here. Seen one or two heading for the exits. They're not impressed. Musa Marega. We're down now to the final two minutes of the 90. One to chase down. It's gone over the defenders. It's a good hit. Well hit. And well saved. Four minutes of That's going to be a corner. Corner played in. Dangerous ball dealt with by the goalkeeper's punch. Corona. Abu Bakr. He might have put his teammate in here. He fancies his chances of getting past these players. Goalkeeper on his toes, off his line, and he can kick it away. Last blast on the whistle from the referee. Well, look at that scoreline. And it emphasises what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. Well, the first whistle, they were on top and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. Wonderful stuff.